Man, the truth is they may not recover. They could lose significant market share and possibly never gain it back. I mean, you think it couldn't get worse for Samsung until it does. The US government has officially banned the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 smartphone from all airplane flights in the country, beginning at noon Eastern time on Saturday, October 15th. Now, previously, the Department of Transportation had allowed the Galaxy Note 7 to be placed on board airplane flights, but only if they were powered down and not in use. This new ban effectively keeps the smartphone from all flights, regardless of whether or not they are powered down. Samsung announced a few days ago it would end production of the Galaxy Note 7 after continued reports that even some of its replacement phones were exploding. The US Consumer Product Safety Commission also issued a second and final recall on the smartphone. Samsung is now offering up a $100 bill of credits to any Galaxy Note 7 owner who wishes to switch to another Galaxy handset, or a $25 credit for people who either want a refund or if they switch to another phone made by a company outside of Samsung. Now imagine for a moment the tens of thousands of people who travel on airlines every day, maybe even some of you, who hear the alarming commercial that Samsung Galaxy Notes are so dangerous they can't even be on a flight. That is painfully damaging to Samsung. Now you know a debacle like this has reached epic proportions when sheeple, non-techie people, come to me and say, hey, did you hear about the Galaxy Note 7? Did you cover that? Are you sick of talking about it? Now you know it's massive when even those people are talking about it. It's really bad, but can Samsung recover? If so, how? Now when the average consumer believes that a particular product is the number one in its category, namely right now the Galaxy Note 7, a huge flagship, it is almost impossible to change their mind. Unless of course, a new idea can take over. And the old idea was that the Galaxy Note 7 is one of the best Android flagship phones, period, but it will no longer be if it's considered also the most dangerous. So this provides possibly a fantastic opportunity to Xiaomi, Huawei, or some other manufacturer that could usurp that position and become the, not just the best phablet phone, but the best Android phone. Pretty exciting. Now I know what some of you are thinking, you're thinking, Jay Snow, what about LG? The V20 is awesome. What about HTC? They're awesome. No, no, no one's gonna beat the Chinese. The Chinese are coming. Hell no, the Chinese are here. They're making fantastic phones at far cheaper prices and they are coming to the West. Now, part of the very dark and cynical person in me believes that this could have been a brilliant, although very Machiavellian attempt by a Samsung competitor to sabotage Samsung, think about it for a moment. I think that Samsung, you know, shot themselves in the foot with the initial problem with the battery with Samsung Galaxy Note 7. But after so much attention for like six to eight weeks on the replacing the Galaxy Note 7 and the exploding battery on the airplanes and in a truck and all that kind of stuff, all that needed to happen is that one or two of those Samsung Note 7 replacements needed to explode and it was all over for the Samsung Galaxy Note series. Is that possible? Is a company capable of doing something like that? Hell yeah, I'm not saying it did. I don't have any evidence to suggest it, but there's just that part of me that's thinking, hmm, that's very possible. I think it's safe to say that pretty much everyone hates day-to-day -day admin work. That's why our beloved sponsor FreshBooks has made it ridiculously easy to use their cloud accounting software. Whether you need easy invoicing, online payments, or time tracking, FreshBook has fantastic solutions for you. You can even use your Android device to take a snap of your receipts and have FreshBooks manage your expenses automatically. For a 30-day unrestricted free trial with no credit card required, just go to freshbooks.com forward slash Android and enter Android Authority in the How Did You Hear About Us section. That's freshbooks.com forward slash Android.